Hi guys, Thomas here, and today we have another track design. So this time it's my own track design. Um, once again, sort of like last time, I was feeling a bit tired, so I didn't want to do anything too, too crazy, really focusing on refining my movements, that kind of thing. Um, this is another track design that you can fly multiple people up, which is really good for getting lots of packs in and also good race practice. But the main goal of this track is it's got a really distinct rhythm to it. So if you do sort of go offline or go out of rhythm, you're really going to notice it. Not enough to the fact where it's going to put your quad into the ground necessarily, but enough that, you know, you'll be able to correct back and go, okay, now how do I fix this? How do I make this better? It's really track built around refinement rather than, you know, all out new skills. Um, pretty much sign out from the straight, you've got sort of a double gate straight. It's really curved a little bit. So it's not a straight per se, but it is pretty straight. So it's just designed so it's a really nice flowy sort of straight thing where you just you always got a bit of movement happening. From that you're straight into a sort of wide hairpin corner. Uh, it's got only one flag, but I believe the race line should be wider than what you technically would consider a hairpin. Um, it's just a matter of how you take it really. But from there straight into a power loop section. Power loops they just feel really comfortable, they're really fun. Um, from there you're straight into two hairpin corners, these are the tightest parts of the track where you will actually be putting a lot of throttle on. I tend to stay away from these when I do track designs because I don't like to empty all the battery on like a couple corners. But it's one of those things I really want to practice, I really want to get good at managing my momentum through those. So I think it's worthwhile having in this track. From there it's like a shallow chicane, chicane section. This is just really meant to be something that's really rhythmic, uh, sort of using that like initial part of your rate and then from there you're into a bottom gate straight up into a dive gate this is where you're trying to do so your high rate movements that kind of thing really trying to get used to using that full range of motion that you have uh, in your quad from there you're going straight into another sort of chicane bit it's like a really shallow corner that ties up back onto the main straight uh, these have been spaced apart hopefully so they should have a really distinct rhythm it should almost be like one corner one corner one corner one corner like you'll you'll really sort of feel whether you're in time or not. Um, that's what I'm anticipating anyway. We'll see how it goes now. Okay, so I've done a few runs of the track already and I will say this, I did say I was gonna design the track around having a definite rhythm and then you can tell if you're out of line or something like that by the rhythm being off. And that's 100% true in this case. My rhythm has felt off the entire day. Only a few times have I felt like I've started to sync up a little bit. So the track is doing its job, but it is a little bit punishing in that sense because it really does highlight your mistakes really well. <laughs> But um, I guess from a school building point though, it's gonna be really good, so. Let's, uh, let's go for a ride on the track. Okay, let's try go for it. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Welcome to open so, I think it's gonna be a goal of just ramping up slowly in this case, especially since I'll be commentating. So, I'll try to commentate. I'll probably be just derping my language everywhere, but... Oh. There we go, it's fixed. Flight one! Okay. So, we go around here. Around this bit. Oh, that was wide. i got to fix that when I come back. Dive gate, that was a bit wobbly. So we can put a lot of extra inputs there that were unnecessary, so we'll take those out. That was a bit wider, but it was one continuous movement, so I think I like that better. Dive gate is a little bit better, a little bit offline. That's more like it. Okay, dive gate power. There we go, straight through. Okay. That was slower. We'll fix that up. We. Okay, lined up. Okay, that 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 was derpy. Okay, we're back there. We're back or alive. Our quad is not broken. That's what's see with this track. When you go off rhythm, you really notice it, but you can sort of save yourself before you break your quad. Um, let's keep going. Oh, I'm out of power. I should actually listen to my flight timer. <laughs> well, that was certainly quicker than the last one. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the track and um, the blah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to plan. Okay. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed hey, this. Wait, let me stop laughing. I'm shaking the camera. <laughs> Start in a few seconds. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the track and seeing it. Um, it was... <laughs> Don't shake the camera! You can't go wobble wobble. Okay, we're ready. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this track. Um, I enjoyed making it, it's fun to fly. That distinct rhythm, like I said, it does make it a little bit disheartening at times because it does really highlight your mistakes really clearly, but for the same token, that also allows you to improve, take nice baby steps. So I think the rewards of this track, you'll see a lot more on track. Um, I did definitely enjoy Dad's track a lot more from the sort of just relaxing and flying and having fun. Both of them give you different benefits in different areas. So it's one of those things you sort of do a bit of one, bit of the other, depending on how you're feeling and sort of what mood you're in. But um, overall, it was really enjoyable, and I can't wait to keep tackling this track. See you around.